Hi, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. Today's video, you might have guessed by the intro, I'm going to talk about this unique product to raise pH by Bridal Aquatics. It's called Boost pH Plus. Now, this product, it's a unique formula. And what this product does, actually, if you follow other uh, YouTubers and you do researches on how to raise pH, you'll notice that, like for instance, uh, Cockwasser. Well, Cockwasser will raise your pH, but at the same token, it'll raise your alkalinity and your, and your uh, calcium. And then there's other ways and other forms of doing it, like two parts. Again, it will raise your pH, but also it'll raise your alkalinity and your calcium. Now, this product only specifically raises your pH. Again, as I started to explain at the beginning, it's a unique formula that the only thing that it'll do is raise the actual pH upon following the instructions on what's the proper um, dosage for your tank. When the pH is low, what happens is it's lacking oxygen. So what they recommend is uh, the air exchange, the, uh, the surface agitation will actually give more oxygen to the water. Like for instance, my MP10, you, you should raise it a bit towards the surface and that will improve the surface agitation and will also, in lieu of that, raise your pH. And then the, there's another way also that uh, since it's lacking oxygen, they recommend, but it's tedious, to get an air pump and an air stone and put it in your sump. In this case, since it's an all-in-one, I would have to put it on the back. And that also would raise the pH. Another way that helps to raise the pH also is, of course, the protein skimmer. As the, uh, the, the skimming process is happening, you know, the fine bubbles, it is creating oxygen. But this product, again, a disclaimer, uh, I, you know, um, uh, uh, I don't make no money from Brightwell Aquatics. I'm not sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics. It's just my personal opinion. When I started to use this product, I said, wow, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a video on it and talk to all of you followers and people that don't follow me. Just shoot it out there so all of you are aware of this product. Boost pH Plus. It really works and I highly do recommend it. Now, what I'm going to do now Finishing the intro, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take uh, different shots of the, of the tank and I'll show you how it's actually doing because prior to this, I was running like 7.8 or 7.9 in pH. I wasn't able to bring it up uh, to like 8 or 8.1. Now it's a steady 8 point, I would say 1 around there. So like I said before when I started, you do have to check the instructions and adjust, adjust the dosage accordingly until you start to bring it up. Now, don't put too much because then your pH will skyrocket. So let's take a deep dive into it. Check it out. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to shoot different parts of coral so you'll see how they're improving because it's been proven scientifically that a higher pH tends to help uh, the coloration of corals, especially the aquas, the sticks, and in general, all corals, it, all, it, it helps the growth. So first, here I'm shooting a full shot of the tank. Now, you're going to notice on the bottom, I did purchase two more corals. On the bottom, like on the middle, on the left-hand side, I got a Favitis, and I got a Ganeapora, the green type. So far, everybody's doing great. And, of course, the contributing factor would be the uh, Boost pH Plus that I'm also using, besides the other uh, additives by Brightwell Aquatics. So now I'll go deep into it and look at specific corals that I've seen changes going around. So hold on. Okay, so as I mentioned previously, these are the new two acquisitions that I recently got. Now, they're doing great. And I do believe that a big factor, of course, is the Boost pH Plus by Brightwell Aquatics. Now, I haven't had luck with Ganyapores, and yet this, uh, both of these were acclimated, I would say close to about a month, a month and a week, more or less. And I mean, the Favites are 
much easier to keep. Ghanaian poros, uh, they're a little more sensitive, but hey, it's got those uh, uh, sweeper uh, tentacles coming out of, of the Ghanaian pora. I mean, these um, uh, elongated feelers, shall we call it, it's been there from day one, no recession, no nothing. So I believe that, again, like I said, I put other products. I put like Replenish from Brightwell Aquatics. I put iodine and all that. But I do believe that it is a contributing factor, the Boost pH Plus by Brightwell. Because as I mentioned, I know I'm, I'm repeating myself, but as I mentioned before, when it comes to color, to coral color, you know, coloration and growth you must and you should have a little higher pH and I was running 7.8 or 7.9 I was able to bring it to 8 8 ish 8.1 and then recently I adjusted the dosage to 5 mLs Monday Wednesdays and Friday and then I'll I'll be testing on Sundays which is when I actually test so I think that this is also a contributing factor of that product now I'm going to move to other corals so you get an idea of what's going on also hold on now back here this tooth stall I've noticed recently that the head has expanded much more and the uh, the feelers are actually more extended I do believe that that's also a factor of the Boost pH Plus, besides the other products that I use with Brightwell Aquatics. And now I'm showing you an observation when it comes to the Pavona Coral. These, I couldn't keep them. I would buy them, and I mean, they're very hardy corals, and uh, they would pale, pale out, and that's it. Now this one, I've had it for quite a while, and there's new growth coming out on the tips, I'd say, like about, ooh, about, uh, I'd say about here. Yeah, about, okay, right there. If you look closely, I mean, I can see it better. Of course, I'm here. I can appreciate more. But there is new shoots that are coming out. It's, it's growing out exponentially, and it's doing great. Again, I believe that that's a factor. As I reiterated, at the beginning, that uh, a higher pH gives uh, better growth on your corals in general. Now I draw your attention to this coral. Now this one, I have gotten it way, way back prior to the ICP test. And I did notice that it started to shrink, shrink, shrink. And it got to a point that the little green... Uh, mouse that you see there it was even smaller than that now once I started to add replenish and then recently I started to add the boost pH plus look at it it's I'd say it's quadruple in size it's happy and it's doing great and here the fire digi same thing I would have problems with these corals now upon you know replenish and of course uh, lately, I've noticed the Boost pH Plus, I've noticed that it's more meteor. And I know you cannot see it over at your end, but there's uh, heads, like let's say on the tip, on the tip of the coral, like right, let me see if I can point. Okay, right there and here. Uh, you see two little uh, greenish spots. I mean, there's new growth that it's about to split. Again, higher pH. Better coloration, faster growth. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it interesting, educational, and fun. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up, and of course, subscribe to my channel, and smash that notification bell. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thanks for watching this video, and until next time, bye-bye.